Friends, today we are going to make a super spinner using two straws and a plastic bottle. But first, let's see how it works. As you move the bottle up and down in water, the spinner spins very fast. You will need a two liter plastic bottle and two straws plus some other small things. Take a seven centimeter long thick straw and then fold it in the middle. Nip the first one and then the other corner of the fold. Now on opening the straw you will see a diamond shaped hole. Keep the hole right in front of you then flatten both ends of the straw and seal them with colored tape. Now seal the other end with colored tape. Then nip one corner on one side and the diametrically opposite corner on the other side. This way you will make two holes which will be diametrically apart. Air will escape from these holes and spin the straw. Now press the short end of the bendable straw, yellow straw and cut a V notch near its end. Then place a loose bead in the straw. This is the loose bead and this is the pin which acts as a stopper. Finally weave in the straw spinner To prevent the spinner from falling, glue a styrofoam ball in the mouth of the yellow straw. Now the straw spinner is ready for testing. On blowing from the other end of the yellow straw, the spinner will rotate very fast. Now we will fix the yellow straw in a 2 liter bottle lid. Now make a small hole in the bottle lid with the help of a scissors, cut the bottle base Press with the yellow straw tightly in the bottle lid. Apply some glue to seal the joint. There should be no air leakage from this joint. Now plunge the bottle in a bucket of water. Water will enter the cut bottle and air will be expelled from the yellow straw. This air will emerge from the two diametrically opposite holes and spin the straw very fast. This experiment also demonstrates Newton's third law of motion that every action has an equal and opposite reaction.